Oh wow, what's happening here? Morning, I am in Mexico City. This is the first long haul flight I have taken for ages. I'm jet lagged, I'm knackered. The time now is 7.08 in the morning and I can't sleep. I've genuinely forgotten what jet lag feels like it's been that long. This is my first time in Mexico City. I've been to Mexico twice before. I've done Cancun twice, but then I've been to like Chichen Itza, so that's on the east side, but I've never done Mexico City on this side of Mexico. So I think it's gonna be really interesting. I've heard mixed reviews. A lot of people say that it could be dangerous around here, but I suppose we'll find out. Right, before we head out, I've actually come on this trip with two other people. I've not come on my own for a change, so I'm gonna go and give them a knock. It's the Welshman. The Welshman. <laughs> How are you, mate? Good morning, have a drink. Mate, it's 7am, I can't be drinking That's how this. we start the day off in Mexico. <laughs> hey, stop giving the fireball to the neighbours. Mr Boulder, how are you? I'm alright, right. how are you doing? Good, mate. Mate, how can you drink that at 7am? This is what real men, real men with, what's that called, machismo? Machismo, what's machismo, that? Machismo, that's um, macho-ness in Mexico. Mm. Ah, okay. And real machismo men drink fireball in the morning. <laughs> Go on, sign your first Get fireball. It Get it down. Where have you actually bought this from? Is it Mexican, this? No, it's Canadian. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> what are we doing then, Simon? What's I don't know, what do you reckon? Should we head out and get some food? Are you jet lagged as well? Oh, mate, I had the worst <laughs> night ever. Woke up at like 3.30, just being like tossing. I can't sleep. I have a great idea. Go on. Mackie D's. Let's do Mackie D's. Free Mackie D's on me. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Have you had a bad night's sleep as well? I didn't sleep. I was on a fire. I didn't. Are you tired? Yeah. That's nice. So, so are do you, you say Mickey D's or Mackey D's? No, Mackey D's. Mackey D's. Mackey D's. I'm trying to are get you a my big Welsh one. Lover? You could say I've been a couple of times throughout <laughs> my life. Are you serious that we're in Mexico? Now on your first morning, you want to go to bloody McDonald's? Yeah. I mean... What's wrong with that? Are you just a McDonald's? Mate, don't you love a Mackey's brekkie? No. No, and a McDonald's breakfast is, I mean, if it was a burger, but they do those horrible McMuffin things. Do oh, you know mate, those McMuffins are amazing. You don't like McMuffins? <laughs> no, I actually don't like McDonald's You breakfast. don't like it? No, I like McDonald's, but not the breakfast. Harold, bad news. McDonald's is closed. What? <laughs> I wonder what time everything Perfectly starts opening. Mate, I know your Russian's good, but what's so your listen, Spanish all I'm saying is, like, the man of I many will be the languages. translator on this trip, because, I mean, Harold, can't speak a lick of Spanish. <laughs> and you were speaking French when we arrived with the taxi driver. <laughs> so I think leave it to me. Oh wow, what's happening here? Can we Can we go through here? Gracias. Oh wow, there's a lot of police over there. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder. And there's like loads of tents on the main street. There are so many tents just on the street and I'm guessing this is like the main street in the centre. They go back a lot and then there's a lot more here. And then I don't know if you can see the police over there. There's like barricades of police on every street corner. Yeah, what does this say? Somos Mexico. Bold, what does this say, mate? We are Mexico. Somos Mexico. Since when have you been able to speak Spanish? Pequia incompetente. I mean, you can guess what that means. Incompetent. Someone's in. We are Mexico. Someone's incompetent. I don't understand 90% of it. I just uh, know that Somos is us. So I mean, obviously, I don't know too much about it, but from what I read online, is basically these people who come from out of town. They don't like the president, the current incumbent. And so they've been protesting, it's been going on for about a year, but these tents are quite new, I think. Just like um, corruption and stuff? I think it's basically about the corruption and the mistakes that the government's made. Apparently there was some like big airport that got cancelled or something, wasted billions of like dollars on it. And so, yeah, the people are pretty... 
How many tents are up and down here? There's loads. I don't know. I mean, hundreds probably. I mean, these people come from out of town as well. But, I mean, it must be cold because Mexico yeah. City is like a cold city. So at night time, they must be freezing. The thing is, there's loads of police. Like, there's loads down yeah. there. Eh? There's more down there as well. It seems like a peaceful protest though. So I don't know why you have. Yeah, it doesn't look like so it's kicking off. Police? No, not at all. And so it I'm looks like sure. older people as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, maybe they're a little bit more desperate. The older ones, things haven't quite worked out under this president. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's strange to see. In the of the it looks like city. all these tents are confined to this road. It just keeps going for miles down there. How long have you been here for? Three days. Three days, wow. How long are you staying here? Going? Never and never. <laughs> and and why, why are you here for the president with the corruption yeah. and things like that? Yeah. yeah. And you're not too cold? It's not too bad here? The day after yesterday, it's totally wet. Really? Commitment. So you've no been problem. here? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So you've been here three days? If we don't uh, throw out him. Yeah. Do you think he will throw out? Yes. You think he will? Yes. Well, good I, luck. How many tents is there here? How many? All country. Really? Five days, five cities. Wow. And repeat. Uh -huh. Yeah, and just go every week, is it? Yes. Every week, just keep yes. going. Well, I hope you get justice anyway. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely Thank to meet you. you. See you later. Bye. Hi, how are you? Oh, hey, how are you? Man? Good, thanks, mate. How are you? How long have you been here? You've been here a while or? Uh, for like uh, two weeks, mate. You've been here for two weeks? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How's the weather been? Not bad or? Some rain, some rain. How, how long do you think you're going to be here for? For a while, man. Really? Just stay here until further notice? Yeah. Have you had much trouble with the police? I've noticed a lot of police no, about. No, the police no. protecting us. We're sharing food with the police. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Real democracy is not real in this time, no? For really? This country. How long's the president been in for? Like a two years. He's been in for two years, yeah, Aaron. He's not a good guy, no. Very bad, man. Really? Very bad, yeah. Well, it's lovely to meet you anyway, man. And good luck with everything you're doing. Okay. See you later. Okay. Have a good one. Bye. Fair play, the people seem really friendly here, and as you've said, they're not having any trouble with the police. But staying here until further notice, I don't know if you can tell from this video, but this is like the main street in Mexico City. Right, let's see what these two troublemakers are up hey, to. What are you two up to? Coke Zero, thanks yeah, mate. Cup of tea. Hi, how are you? Have some tea. Cheers. And you mate, Simon, have some tea. Uh, I got it from 7-Eleven. No, I'm good, thanks mate. You sure? Yeah, I'll stick to the Coke Zero. Cheers though. Thank He's you mate. Proper diet. How are you? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Grecho, I'm a Mexican. Ah, Simon, nice to meet you. Mucha gusta. Mucha gusta. Uh, Mucha gusto. Yeah. What does nice that mean? To meet you. Ah, mucha gusto. Okay. Sorry, my Spanish isn't great. It's lovely to meet you anyway. Muchos gusto. <laughs> what was it? Muchos. Uh, mucha gusto. Mucha gusto. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Time now is 8.23 and I fancy a cup of tea. Want a cup of tea? Do you reckon we can get an English brew around here? The Norwegian there. shrink tea? Yes, we do. Is there a Starbucks around here or is there somewhere local? I reckon there's somewhere over here, some lady on the street or something. Some street chai store we can find. If they sell tacos on the street, they've got to sell tea. For once in my life, I'm going to eat healthy. What do you reckon we get, Harold? I reckon we get... Are you getting anything, mate? Pineapple juice. Um, I think you should try some fruits of some sort. What have we got? Watermelon, pineapple. What's this? Papaya. Papaya. Can I have some pineapple juice, please? Do you do juice or just chunks? Are you getting papaya? Yeah, I'm having a pineapple. Are you having a papaya? Uh, I'm gonna have one pineapple. Are you having pineapple as well? Yeah. So dos pineapple. Are you having anything, mate? Okay. Ah, thank you. Gracias. How much? Fifty. Fifty pesos. Gracias. How's it taste? Oh, it's pretty good. Give me your verdict, mate. Are you getting that in Tesco? Nine no, no. This pineapple is so good. I need to start eating more of this instead of egg McMuffins. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you too. Where are you from? Uh, UK. UK? What is UK? Uh, Great Britain. England. England. Ah. Well, I'm from Wales. 
Wales. Do you know Wales? Gales? It's in USA? Uh, no, in the UK, in Great Britain. Ah, England. Yeah, so England and then Wales next door. Ah, okay. Yeah. Are you enjoying Mexico City? Love it. First time here. First? Okay. First time. Welcome and the fruit's and really good. Welcome and sorry for this. Yeah, yeah, the protest for <laughs> yeah, the tech. Okay. It's lovely day. to meet you. Right. Have a great day. Thank you. Everybody's so friendly around here, aren't they? So far, we haven't run into the cartel. You're right. And people seem nice. now in the center like the historic center in Mexico City as you can see over my shoulder there is so many police going about these protests are like proper growing I've decided to put my mask on just because it's so crowded around here and I don't fancy catching anything it's like they're setting up for a market here can you feel the atmosphere like building here a little bit it's, it's very strange it's kind of somber and subdued I mean there's quite a lot of people here but it's very quiet have you seen the police are coming now though Some Something's definitely up. It just doesn't make sense why there's so many police and not many people sort of kicking off. I tell you what though, it's a busy city. Check this out. Oh wow, here you go. I think we found where everybody's kicking off. That's like the main part behind me where the protests are. And then you've just got all the police there. And this is actually the National Palace. I'm not too sure what that is over there, but that's the National Palace. Right, let's get out of here before it kicks off. Me and Harold are officially lost. Have you got a clue where you are? I have no idea. We've now ended up in the back streets of Mexico City. I haven't got a clue if it's dangerous down here, but I suppose we're going to find out. There's a lot of shops. A lot of like selling like wooden stuff. Do you see anything you fancy, Mr. Boulder? A Mexican flag. That's a good show. What about a wrestling mask? Yeah, a wrestling mask would be cool. Too. I think a wrestling mask would look better than that one, mate. Eh? It probably would. So this shop sells like baskets. This shop sells Christmas decorations, Christmas lights, Christmas trees, Santa. Harold, do you want to buy a Christmas tree? No. You sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm looking for a mask and a Mexican flag. Uh, where can we buy a Mexican flag? Anywhere here? No, no, no. Or a wrestling mask? No, no. Gracias. Thank you. Harold, I found it. Are we getting a sombrero? Let's see how much we can get a sombrero for. How much is the Mexican one? 250 pesos for this one? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think it good on you. Can we buy it? Hi, this. Which one? Out with the old, on with the new. So this is 250, mate, good quality. No, no, no. No, Adams. No, oh, Adams. I'm putting it on wrong. Adams, chico. Ah. There we go. Mate, this suits me. It looks pretty good. It goes actually. with like the, the white and black face mask, the white and black hat. What do you think? I'd say it's a buy. The only thing is, mate, how am I getting this home in a suitcase? I'll just wear it. Just turn up at Manchester Airport with this one. What's that in uh, dollars, 250? It's about a tenner, isn't it? It's pretty good. Harold, I'm not being funny, mate, but that pink one has got your name written all over pink it. Pink is kind of my colour. Exactly. Right, do you want me to put it on you? Yeah. Didn't expect them to be so heavy. Hey, that looks good on you. Well, I think I'm going to pass on mine, but I reckon you Why? Should, uh, well, it's not really my colour. I'm, you know, red. Mate, you just said pink's your colour. No, it's not. Yeah, I'll try the black and white to, one. When it comes to sombreros, no. Try the black and white one. That's probably one. Now, that looks, that looks better. So, how much? 250. Yeah. There you go. Gracias, lovely to meet you. No, te lo llevo en la bolsa. Oh, no, I wear it. I wear it, yes. <laughs> Harold, what do you think? I reckon you are the, the classiest man in all of Mexico City right now. The only and thing is... your hat and they're thinking, wow, how can I get one? Is it a wise idea walking around the back streets like this? Great idea. What do you think? You look good? Thank you. Gracias. Well, that guy looked quite impressed with my new hat. I love your hat. Oh, Mexico. I am legit the most stylish man in Mexico. Oh, check this out. How's it going? Mexico, nice to meet you. Thank you. Check out this guy's voice. Black and black and pueblito. Oh, Lord, oh, so scarrito. This is a pretty cool place. This
this has got to be like the proper centre now. It's so busy here. You've got like all these market stuff on the street. How chaotic is this? This can't be safe down here, surely. You've got like loads of bags, socks. Are they selling gym equipment? Hola. How are you? Oh, gym equipment. Ah. Like this. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Oh wow, all these are like proper running. Why is everybody running? People are just leaving their stuff. The whole party died down. Everybody's like wrapping their stuff up and just going. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. There was like stalls all along here and they've just wrapped them all up and just ran off. Why is that? Why have they just wrapped everything up and gone? I, I guess it's a kind of a... It's got to be the police or something, market, isn't it? not uh, sanctioned by the, the authorities. That is so mad. Everybody's back out now. So everybody cleaned up the stuff. And now, can you see all these stalls are popping back up? Another one here. Another one here. Harold's just buying some perfume. So all these just disappeared a minute ago and now they're all back. It's got to be something to do with the police, hasn't it? Must be like some sort of illegal market or something. Hola, how are you? I need a, a Mexico uh, bow tie. Mono? Three pesos. Have you got Mexico? Uh, Mexico? Uh, color Mexico? This one? How much? Three pesos. Yes, I take this one. Okay, three pesos. Five pesos, I give you. No, it's okay. Keep the change. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Gracias. Can you take us there on this? How much would it cost us? I don't know how, how much it will. I basically charged like 150 pesos. 100, 150 pesos. That's good. Yeah, should we see how it goes? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Have so where are you from then? Born in Colorado. Bro. You were born in Colorado? Uh, but your family Mexican or? Yeah, they're Mexicans, but we have a problem with the papers. And they, yeah, I can and imagine. I'm gonna get in trouble the, over there because I got some DUI tickets. And, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I get the deportation. You know? Better stay here till coming. Yeah, with all the coronavirus and stuff. Let's jump in. Cheers, thanks, man. Looking oh, yeah. forward to this. We've even got the Mexican flags. Harold, how are you liking this, mate? It's quite a comfy ride. It's pretty comfortable it compared is. to the one I did. I in think the it's park. like it's like a bus seat. <laughs> I think he's like robbed a bus and then just, just put the bus seat. Struggle here in this intersection. Oh wow. Okay, here we go. This guy's struggling, man. Mate, I am so sorry that I weigh so much. Through coronavirus, it's just been delivery after delivery. Maybe he's going to be able to wing a shortcut through here. Cars we can't go here. Through this. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Muchas gracias. 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 I think they, um, yeah, because we know the motorized vehicle, as you can see, all the other cars here are police cars. It just goes to show here how much police there is. One, two, three. Four, five. They're literally just lined up on every single street. Mate, I think Bald would have loved this journey. Yeah. I tell you what, this bike's at better days. Oh, wow. Is it all right? His chain's Except come chain off. off. Flipping out, I remember when the, my chain used to come off my bike as a kid. I don't think this bike was made for Norwegians. No, I'm, I'm 90 kilos, man. So what's the first impressions on Mexico City, mate? I like it. It's a little bit more modern than I was expecting. But maybe we're just in the modern part of town. Yeah. But you know what? I like it. It's got a good atmosphere. What about you, Mr. Bolden? So far, impressed with the street food. Love the weather. It's not too hot. It isn't, is it? I you thought know, it was going to be a lot um, hotter than it is. It's a great time to be here right now. Mm. Mainly because you don't sweat when you walk around. Right, I am absolutely knackered. That concludes day one in Mexico City. We're heading out of Mexico City tomorrow. Do you want to say where we're going or? I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Neither do you. We actually don't. It has yet to be decided. <laughs> Flipping heck, it gets dark here quick. I'm sure you already know Bald and Harold, but if you don't, check out Bald and Bankrupt and Harold Boulder. Right, that's me. I'm looking forward to an adventure tomorrow. Any last words? Unsubscribe from Harold Boulder. <laughs> and subscribe to Bald I second and his motion.